Hello YouTube, it's Lion here with Hobbies and Man once again, and today we're going to be doing another Manga First Impressions review uh, to continue off the sci-fi month this uh, May. And today we're going to be looking at Parasite Volume 1, that's going to be what we're going to be having a first impressions on. And the author is Hitoshi Iwaki, with two A's, I think, I don't know, I think that's how you spell it. And the publisher here is Kadansha, I read this digitally, I bought it from Bookwalker a long time ago, I think I paid 99 cents for it, it's a pretty good price. On Bookwalker, sometimes they have really good sales. Sometimes they don't. It really just depends. You just gotta wait it out and see if you happen to get something cool or not. And um, yeah, the demographic here is seinen. Definitely uh, fits the the bill. Um, in that sense, it's not really uh, a very simple story. And I don't really think it's more gory than most shonen jump titles, but it it definitely has a more kind of important or maybe much more like deep story about it than motion and jump titles and so it kind of uh, it makes sense that it'd be a seinen but of course uh, seinen doesn't actually end up meaning anything because it's just what the magazine uh that published it is under but you know if if they did mean something i think seinen would be a good one but um yeah in terms of genre body horror horror thriller and sci-fi and um, body horror for sure. If you don't like Junji Ito's kind of like work on Uzumaki, you're not gonna like this. It's, it's not exactly the same, but it is kind of similar. Um, definitely has a lot of body horror. And I wouldn't really call it a horror thriller because there wasn't anything super exciting about the story. Like there wasn't anything like super scary either. So, I mean, it might get to that point later on, but right now from the first volume, I don't really think it's a thriller of any kind. It just has very general kind of like horror vibes. It just hasn't delivered on them yet. And of course it is sci-fi because the uh, inciting incident is these aliens com coming to earth. So um, yeah, that totally fits. In terms of adaptation, it does have one. I think it has a few. And the best one is probably Parasite Maxim. Um, that one came out a few years ago, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's the one that rejuvenated all of the love for this series. So, yeah, now in terms of a premise here, we basically have these, like, Venom symbiote-esque kind of aliens. Uh, they also kind of look like Goa Wuld from uh, Stargate, if you, if you guys know what that is. Um, and they land on Earth, and then they take over human hosts. And what we understand is that they actually keep the body except for the head and they replace the head so it's a really odd system i think i've actually read something like that before in a john carter book i can't remember if it was the one with the white man of mars or not i, I can't remember mm. yeah i think it, it was it was probably chess masters of mars is that what that's called i can't remember but it's one of the later John Carter of Mars books. There's something similar in that, in that uh, series. And um, we basically follow one of these uh, attacking alien symbiote things as they try to take over a young man. Uh, I think his name is Sinichi. And uh, Sinichi actually reacts quite well and quickly and he manages to um, tourniquet his arm in a way to stop the parasite from um, pushing through his body which I'm not sure would work for real because uh, like we clearly see the, the parasite moving through his, uh, his skin, right? But if it burrowed deeper, it could actually go through his, uh, his arm, even if it's tightened. So I'm not really sure that that works, but it, it like was convincing enough. Well, so that's good enough. Um, and now they have to live together with this decision or with this situation and try to, uh, it's called survive because they basically are in danger now um for for a very specific reason which is that all of the other aliens um are afraid of this uh of this situation where it's a host and his parasite working together um oh well i wouldn't really call it that they're afraid I, more they're like prejudiced they think it's not correct and so they try to kill him and so the parasite migi decides to attack them back and so we kind of get the situation where it's like, uh, basically it would be like if a Damphir hunted vampires, a va Damphir being a half vampire, in this case, a Sinichi and Migi being a half alien fighting other aliens. So it has kind of a very similar 
vibe to things like Yagan or Gans or Glibnir. Um, but I do think that the issue here is that it's actually significantly older feeling. And so most of these uh, kind of styles and tropes of these like aliens taking over humans and having to infiltrate them just kind of feels simplistic and uh, it hasn't really given me anything new and so i don't really feel all that invested in the story i like i ended up enjoying it but i mean it's basically just like the venom symbiote storyline uh and whether it's the comic book one or the one that came out in the movies recently it's basically the same idea it's this hyper intelligent alien attached to a human and now they have to work together because all of the other aliens of its same race are trying to kill them for whatever reason so it's not really all that different um so i don't know if if you're not very versed in this type of sci-fi you might really enjoy it if you are well versed in it you might enjoy it anyways i personally fall in the i'm enjoying it anyways category but um nothing spoke to me about this series so i don't really feel the need to continue reading it however you know if i ever find it on bookwalker again for 99 cents i might pick up the next volume i am not really sure i don't really uh, have any major plans to continue this series right now because i don't know i didn't really feel a point to it but um i think it's an interesting story definitely check it out if you're interested in this type of stuff if you like venom uh you'll probably like this story too so <clears throat> Feel free to give it a read. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say to you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And thank you guys very much for watching. See you guys later.